Hello and welcome to a casual review. This time around, we're talking about Persona 5 Tactica. Uh, we've played this game back in November of 2023. In fact, the time I'm recording this, it's in the early December, hence why my Christmas tree is up in a video that you're probably seeing in like late February, early March of 2024. Right? It's like, that's how far in advance I try to record things. As soon as I finish a, a game, I am recording my thoughts uh in uh my for, for to give y'all my opinions and everything here so persona 5 tactica this is a game i broke a standing rule for is with in which i never i 99 times out of 100 i never play a game day one of release i made that exception for persona 5 tactica uh because i really wanted to play it based on my experience with prior games in the franchise. So I had that high confidence that Atlas, uh, the publisher was actually going to be delivering something of quality and they most certainly did. And thankfully as well, they also delivered a game that took, that takes into account that uh, not everybody has played a real time strategy game before. And I sure, I sure as hell did it. As a matter of fact, I was really paying attention to the tutorials. Even putting this game on this easiest difficulty setting, I was still taking my time, and I still was, I was still having doubts. Fairly late, it's like, okay, how the heck do I do this? And trying to remember various different things, as well as taking into account everyone, every playable character's uh, different gameplay style in terms of setting up a, a party of three or late game a party of four. Um, yeah, and uh, remembering uh, whose abilities does whose abilities does what, uh, who has gr the best range of motion, who has the best range in terms of the weapons, uh, whose personas have like a solid AOEs, and and, th and things of that sort. So that's a that's a lot to remember over the course of uh, of like which is essentially. Start to finish on a single playthrough is essentially a 40 hour game. And that's if you're like me, you're going through all the dialogue and you are doing everything this game has to offer. I'm talking filling out the compendium to near completion because you cannot fill out the compendium in your first playthrough. This game requires a second playthrough to fill that out a bit. That's something I'm quite annoyed with, but you know what? Whatever. It, it, it it we, we we deal with that in the, in that regard. Then you have uh, but you have like you have fifty two fifty two battles. You have quite a few uh, talking in LeBlanc seg segments, which is important if you want to fill out your skill tree to completion, because you get skill points from leveling up. But you a number of them are tied to actually doing the talking side story. Uh, Stuff to get extra context and character development. You want to fill out your skill tree. You want to have everyone's abilities. You have to do the talking segments anytime you're in the high uh, the, the hideout. You, you absolutely must. Then on top of that, you have thirteen uh, specialized quests. Some that, that require you to master uh, the abilities that you are using over the course of the game such as defeating every enemy in a single term. So you have to know how to set up for like a, a huge um, all, out all out attack, uh, which, which involves positioning your three party members in a triangle that would incorporate, incorporate every, every enemy on the field. Uh, or completing uh, the battle in a set number of terms or getting an object moved along from point A to point B in, in a limited amount of time. Uh, so, again, and a, lot of, and a lot of these mechanics are introduced over the course of the main game. So you don't get, get thrown into those side quests straight away. And But again, those are you have to do those side quests because you unlock everyone's final ability on their skill tree you have to do all the side quests, uh, do, do all these specialty quests, in particular, the final three that are tied to uh, Lavenza's challenges and where you cannot select your party 
fully that you are locked into using a certain combination of characters. In fact, that's the case throughout it, where you're uh, limited uh, to who you can use with maybe one or two exceptions in some cases. Uh, so there, is, so this game is a it's very thorough in that regard. And again, you want to do everything and everything. If if you're an achievement hunter, um, depending on your difficulty setting, you can knock out all but one achievement in a single playthrough. So, so yeah, so you have that. <laughs> you totally have that to work with there. So. It, which which is pretty cool. And that means your second playthrough is to fill out the compendium because there are 12 personas, legacy personas that only become unlockable on the second playthrough, which again, kind of weird and disappointing in that regard. But um, considering how I feel about this game, it's like, I, I don't mind that because I really do want to play it again. <laughs> it's like... That's my that's my general feeling of it. Matter of fact, um, it's like I have it penciled in to be a game I I would play in twenty twenty four. It was like it's uh, that I definitely would replay again to, to get the fi- to, to get that last achievement. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, the music of uh, Persona Five Tactica is kind. A little bit more subdued in comparison to uh, Persona 5 Royale and Persona 5 Strikers. Uh, well, those games certainly have much more up tempo and more memorable tracks. Uh, matter of fact, there, there is no familiar tunes from either of those games. Uh, you get no variants on a uh, river in the desert, and, and no, for example, it's like this game has all original music and it's again, it's a little more downplayed. Um, I'm guessing as to it not to feel as frantic or as hectic uh, as in the moment as it would in in those two other games as it ties into Persona 5. Uh, the mu- I would say the music in, uh, in uh, P5T is more geared to not distract you. It's to let you, like, give you something to bop and jam along to. But at the same time, it's not to like take away from you of you contemplating uh, your decision making. So it's like, so it's, uh, and I didn't adjust the, the music volumes at all, but there are some banger tracks. The boss tracks are all, are all particularly good. Uh, in terms of the story of it, which I would feel is, is this game's probably its greatest strength. Um, much like Persona 5, uh, P- Persona 4 Arena and Arena Ultimax, which is really the story of Labrys. Uh, this is this game is essentially the story of Toshiro, uh, a member of the uh, of the uh, Japanese diet. He who is called up. Uh, he's uh, he's he's in a crossroads uh, where he's tr- surrounded by all these corrupt corrupted forces in his life, and he's basically. It's a it's a game where he's basically fighting for his soul. He doesn't have the strength of will, and you see his character arc develop. Much like Labrys, he has to confront his own inner personal demons uh, to become the person he should be. So it's a very nice story, um, and a lot of it, a lot of it actually uh, ties uh, to Haru and Futaba. A lot of the elements as it pertains. The struggles that you see in their story arcs in Persona 5 really comes through here. An, Makoto, and Ryuji, as well as Morgana, really don't have like that, things that the, that you can relate to. Uh, can relate to Toshiro. Matter of fact, it's Futaba who actually has the things that most connect there. Considering uh, if you're like most people consider Futaba's story arc to be the best one in Persona 5 because of everything involving her mother and things of that sort. Ramp up the emotional intensity with that with Toshiro. Um, and as folks know, I lost my mom in January of 2023. And so seeing Toshiro's story play out and you got a lot of that uh, survivor's guilt and everything associated with that... Uh, so it's like, it's like, so this game, 
hits a hits that particular emotional chord for me uh uh straight uh, straight out there so again uh so my matter of fact as much as I'm looking forward to playing this game again I am not looking forward to going through seeing that particular part of the story again because um it it, it hit me it, that part of the story certainly hit me and it hit me hard um in terms of recommendations this gets my high marks for uh for rec uh, recommending um uh, I've seen people who are more familiar with Persona 5, with, uh, assuming with tactic style, real time, uh, sort of like, uh, uh, turn based strategy games, uh, play it, and they were certainly having a great time with it. Um, so, so if you like these type of, this genre game, yeah, definitely recommend it for you. Even if you're not a Persona fan, you will certainly like the puzzle aspects of you know getting through each and every single battle, particularly the the thirteen uh, side quests uh, that I that I pointed that I talked about again. Those are very important to what you can unlock and make sure your characters are at max potential. Um, but yeah, it's like uh, if I had a pick of all the games that I played in twenty twenty three. And uh, that were released in 2023, o only that year. I would have to say, Persona 5 Tactic is probably my game of the year of, of, of games that I played that were released in 2023. And there weren't that many. Like, it was Persona 3 Portable uh, that I played in 2023 that came out that year because of the uh, delayed release on the. Um, on on the remaster of it in Persona 4 Golden, um, Star Trek Resurgence. Obviously, I played Starfield, which I chose not to continue with. Um, so, yeah, games that I played that were that came out in 2023, Persona 5 Tactica is my game of the year. Um, and I would say it's actually one of the best games I played that entire year. year when I when I take into account everything i played up to the, up to that point um so it's um again high mark it's again it's a great it's a great little game um and getting back to it as i said at the very beginning or towards the beginning i never played this type of game before and the tutorial and difficulty settings allow me to like you know learn as i went and it's like with no real fear of failure of it as was to experience everything this game had to offer so again high high marks there um, so with that said, uh, well, I'll wrap up this rant here. Um, tighten your friendship bracelet. Stay safe. Um, if you leave your thoughts on Persona 5 Tactica in the comment section below. And uh, we'll see you next time on this pokey little YouTube channel of mine, whenever that may be. Bye.